next item came from one of the came from one of those days that you've just seen. It came from the day that we spent at Idiot's Gardens as part of the Dementia Festival, Denfest. And I'd like to invite onto the stage uh, the members from the Teapot Collective, the Romsey Poets, who work <coughs> and engaged in conversations with the dementia sufferers and their carers who came along that day to create a community poem. So this is the Teapot Collective, led by Sid Meats, who I hope is here, but I haven't seen him yet. Well, I'm here. here. So Sid, come and join us. Okay, so here are the others, uh, Damien Ovich, Catherine Wright, Anna Carr, and we sit in specific positions. We both thought something was wrong with his memory. Things were not quite right. His memory had been excellent, having done the knowledge, but suddenly it went. He was referred to a clinic and had scans. His first reaction was, oh, I'm going to go mad. Everybody active. The dark side of the shed. What are twiddle muffs? Suggested donation, five pounds. Memory box, smash. George Formby, nostalgia puzzle. Women smiling, laughing, talking, connecting. Caring. Carers, together. What's the teddy's name? Hello, I've lost my voice. But maybe we talk too much anyway. Listening. Hey. It's about listening. Research that's going to be meaningful. From my perspective, it's as much time as you like. We email you. If anything piques your interest. That's my information there. One lady wanted to go home, so she cooked her own bacon sandwich. Scouts, doing Zumba. Teenage girls shyly having a great time. And the oak trees smiled. Over hundreds of years. They protected this space. Side by side. They remember. They remember us gathering. They remember us passing through. They remember the sunny days. And the clouds that gather. Not all of those who wander are lost. Rigid rows of white plastic chairs. Like the graves in a war cemetery. I'm constantly reminding him of things, and then he tells me off for reminding him. I mean, you can't win. He's lost interest in everything now. I keep wondering what I can do to find something to interest him. <coughs> it's so frustrating. It's a lonely life for them, I think. Self-reliance. Rely on each other. Hold my hand. Yellow t-shirts pop like lemon sherbets, short and sweet. Please take a leaf. Twiddle cushions. Children wandering bored and free with sparkling flowery faces. Football in legend with his gentle voice of the North East. Slow and Play parts. Play different parts and it will play different noises. Come on, Thomas. I know, I know. In another couple of months, he won't remember. If you're going to have a different area, it needs to be recovered. We've got some people doing some music. And the sun is still shining. What do you do? Work today? I think we need some jingling. And we'll put another nickel in. And we'll sing. All I want is kissing you. Kind faces in t-shirts. Singing songs, not their own. They weren't there, but they go there. A seat, not where it was. Knocked off to one side. You can't rely on it anymore. What a wonderful world. I loved it when I was a kid. We know bits of the words. We know enough. He comes up with some funny ideas. Like, a couple of months ago, he said, I think it's time we got a divorce. I mean, just out of the blue. He said, I think we ought to have a change. We've been married 64 years. Apart from anything else, I said, we'd be a laughing stock. Can you imagine? Let's play percussion together. I'll tap yours. You tap mine. Yours, <laughs> mine. Yours, mine. Tap, tap, smile. Tap, tap, smile. One more song. Then I'll probably fall on my bum. Drums drift across the air. In a rhythm known only to the drama. The sun squeezes out a few extra kilowatts, but the air is talking autumn. Walkers and wheelchairs. Sticks and stumbles. 
We won't let it be known. Who is caring? Who is cared for? Because the cares that hang around vanish when we're out together. And the top of the oak is higher than faith in some, knowing, remembering. Quercus robur, English oak. There is a nest on the ledge. Moss and string and twigs and mud. Woven in a comforting circle. To protect. <coughs> As the rain falls. Come and take a look. If we could do it ourselves. If we could care ourselves. I've not been diagnosed. I want to be. I'm very forgetful. You'll have to excuse me. I've got <coughs> Alzheimer's. I was a printer. Typesetting. Everything in its place. Cycling round New Malden and Wimbledon. I could get everywhere by bike. Putney, Fulham, Stamford Bridge, blue shirts and white socks, Tommy Doherty. I lost my job. No need for typesetters. I did the knowledge. A to Z inside my head. Everything in its place. I could get everywhere by bike. I passed the knowledge with flying colours. Blue shirts and white socks. I was a talking atlas. Where to, sir? Yes, I am going south of the river. I follow the river. I'm not going round the bend. I lost my memory, but I remember everything. Everything in its place. Cycling so round flower beds. I did gardening, but I've never been to Kew. Putney, Fulham, Stamford Bridge. Blue shirts and white socks. Tommy Doherty. Thank you for the conversation. A very small lady has been appearing and disappearing at the bottom of my bed, where she stands looking out of the window. One of the nurses usually rounds her up and steers her back to the other end of the ward. This is what she said. I'm trying to get out, you see, but this door is locked and they watch me all the time. Probably. But they won't get this, waving a small battered handbag. I might climb over the wall. I have no parents, you know, nobody, so I have to look after myself. They surround me and catch me. Look, those two are probably watching me now. But I don't care. They're not going to hurt me. They're not going to hurt me, probably. I say, it's rather cold and rainy outside for climbing walls, don't you think? Oh, well, I suppose so, but I'm not. But I'm going to give them the slip, tomorrow probably. They can't keep me here against my will, you know. So when I decide I'm leaving, I leave. I'm very independent, you know. A nurse arrives. <coughs> well, thank you for the conversation. We could have another tomorrow. Well, that's very kind, if I haven't escaped by then. But I'm very determined, you know. I'll get past them. They won't even see me. He was always a thinker, so clever. Don't be surprised if he doesn't say much. Back then, men did all the work, won the bread. Back then, in those days, all the houses were rented. I think he was my darling. Did I love you? I loved going to a special place that I wasn't. You can't go to that now. You can't go to that now. Tina was high status, a clergy wife, widow, step work to self. She got them in to look after them, but the women were destitute, sick and old. The irony was, she ended up looking after them. Jill didn't have a chance to get herself sick. So she took me out, but did her own thing. We were at the place I got to, but the police weren't there. The father, husband, son was killed in the war. Then they lost the house, the room, everything. Destitute. Dad worked on trawlers in Scotland. Scottish. In the war. He was virtual lady, lovely, wonderful, kind, generous. But sometimes he was, you bloody well get up those stairs now. He called Ralph Rolf. Ralph always called him Jock. I wonder what happened to all those women. There was no money, no one to look after them. They found work as maids, or ended up in a poorhouse. I wonder what happened to all those women. The war did give emancipation for women. When they worked in the men's jobs, earned money. But after, they were just lost, forgotten people. Somebody said she might be going home today. She sits beside her bed, 
packing, unpacking. Her old shanks spotted, fragile as lizard skin. The clothes are piled from bed to case and back, in lumps and bundles, and on top, a woolly dressing gown. The dressing gown lum comes lumbering out, too bulky for the case, followed by stockings and unmentionables. With mounting anxiety, she borrows for her handbag. The next bed lady thinks her two great grey daughters might have taken it. Complete rubbish, I know it's here. It has my house keys in it. A pause ensues. Then, with a flourish, a nurse draws back the curtain and she stands revealed, dressed in a coat and skirt, her neat, her neat feet shod in old, very expensive shoes. Her stockings <coughs> pulled round her legs like sand, wrinkled like her cheek. <coughs> Back in the hole goes the dressing gown. Out comes a serviceable green plastic bag. Delving some more, she finds a baldy brush, a dozen strokes, and then it joins the growing pile of stuff heaped up on the bed. The dressing gown, much rumpled, reappears, followed by various nameless undies, mainly beige. Back goes the brush, after the ritual drag over her hair. In goes the toothpaste, wrapped in the plastic bag, Nurse, nurse, she calls. Does this belong to me? Yes, love, it does. And have you found my handbag? No, dear, I had a real good look. It's not among your things. The dressing gown goes back into the bag, followed by bed socks. A daughter now appears. Oh, how wonderful. Where are we going? Home, darling. My home? Well, I can't go yet, not without my handbag. It's at home, Mum. You didn't need it here. But it's got my keys. Turning to the nurse, the daughter says, she hasn't had a key for years and years. But there, for 96, she's not so bad. The bag is zipped, and off they go, out of the ward, out of my life, probably. The girls got to have clothes for girls' grandma, she said. I can't afford to buy them new shoes. She bought two leopard shoes. I couldn't walk, but I had to. I went to girls' grammar, and it closed. They moved into a house with a lovely small garden. She was one of five kids. They wrecked that fish pond. Tell me what happened when you got lost, love. I didn't know what I was doing. I was the middle one of five, but I wanted it to be wonderful. We didn't have much money. The old railway route ran at the back of their house. It was closed in the 60s. Beaching, wasn't it? No, it was earlier than that. It was the 20s. I met her at a way Chase Social in Southampton. So we've been together since 1966. When he said she wanted whiskey, it was like this, half a glass. I did some cycling. She did some walking. She invited me for a drink. Not a pub, another place. I called her Laughing Eyes. You see? You see? I still do. I saw lots of his friends because of the whiz bands. I started work, actually. Quite a bit of it. Adult. Actually, I went to college. I was a teacher. There was a head, it was a bitch from hell. <coughs> I can't remember how. Mum wasn't well at that. <coughs> and it was all about me having a coat, a suit. Once I started teaching, I had a wonderful yarn. He was just as bad. But I wouldn't have had all this if I didn't love him. Sometimes. It's nice to be in life. There was all sorts of little bits. But then they go again. All these songs have come from somewhere. I wish I'd asked her. All of them are lost. Adam and Eve in the afternoon, dancing. Adam now knows only Eve, who looks up at him, laughing, flirty-eyed under the trees, turning, time-driven, whirling, leaf-leaving, leaf-parting. Falling coins to catch sun, shining golden. They rock around space, around time, holding tightly, daring to swing very slightly, then back again, heart next to heart, as they dance to the music of paradise over the grass. 